channel and today we're going to be doing a huge Sephora haul for you guys. So Sephora had their spring savings event and we had to get our 20% off. Usually we always shop the fall sale but we don't always shop the spring sale so it just depends on what we want to try and this year we wanted to try a lot of things coming out this spring yeah and we have quite a few products not gonna lie it's not a lot of makeup in here we have some hair stuff and a lot of perfume candles and body care so if y'all love perfume candles and body care welcome welcome so we're gonna hop right into it because this video is gonna be ridiculously long Okay, so I'm gonna start with my one makeup product. If y'all watch our Sephora hauls a lot, y'all know that Kelsey and I are, are like maybe like one of the few channels who don't have a lot of makeup in these kind of hauls. Because yeah. we have like our staple things that we like to use. Mm -hmm. We won't really venture out into the makeup world as much because we both have really sensitive skin. And we're super picky. And we're real picky and we can't use everything. So, no. this concealer, I had to get a backup. This is my go-to concealer. This is the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer. I did use this concealer in my go-to makeup routine. If you guys haven't seen that, you should check that out because it's just the makeup that I've been wearing for pretty much a year now. I haven't changed anything in that routine. And this concealer is my go-to. So I love this one for under the eyes and it's in the color Maple. I love this for brightening up the under eye. I love the formula. It's super, super like liquidy, but it's not light to the point where it doesn't have any coverage. It has the perfect amount of coverage but I love the airbrush finish that it gives. So if you guys are looking for a new concealer, then this one is my go-to. And I have oily skin, if that's a helpful reference. And then moving on to hair, I have two hair products. The first one is from the brand Audra Beauty. And y'all know Kelsey and I love this brand. Like the shampoo and conditioner from the Blue Tansy line is like one of our go-to shampoos and conditioners. But I haven't used much of the Biomint line. So I wanted to revisit this because I don't remember how I liked it last time I used it because it's been a while. But this is the Biomint Moisturizing Curl Defining Gel. And I really wanted to try this as like a one product kind of routine. And I got this because it had a lot of great reviews. I tried to buy it in the store, but every Sephora location near us was out of stock of this gel. So they did have it online when I went to go get it. So I can't wait to try this for my one product wash and go routine because I heard that this works really well by itself so that's how I'm going to be using this like the name of it it says moisturizing curl defining gel so I'm assuming that's why a lot of people like this by itself because it's moisturizing so it's supposed to be like an all-in-one kind of product oh, so I can't wait to try it really jiggly so we'll see how this works y'all know I'm a gel girl I love gel for my curly hair it's always been what works best on my curls so We'll see how this works. And then I got a huge, huge deep conditioner. This is probably one of my favorite deep conditioners to use in the summer months. This is the Real Geo Curl Charisma Rice Amino Avocado Hydrating and Defining Mask. So this came broken, as y'all can see. I was very disappointed and some of it like was on all my other products. So annoying. But I love the Real Geo deep conditioners. I like the Don't Despair Repair. That was the first one I ever tried from this line. And when they came out with this one, I was like, I gotta try that. Tried the regular size, loved it, and I knew I was gonna get the large size for the savings event. So this is 32 fluid ounces. And the one thing I love about Audra Beauty and Brio Geo is that they have a lot of good products that are actually good for the hair. They have no sulfates, they're silicone free. So certain brands, you can't really find all that. And these two That's brands true. are probably like the only two that I can find you know, that have like the requirements that I'm looking for for hair products, you know, and that's really rare. So this deep conditioner is a must for me in the summer months because I deep condition about once a week and I need all the conditioner I can get because I use a lot. Okay guys, so I didn't get any makeup or hair products. Well, I got a shampoo and conditioner, but it's in my shower and I don't feel like getting it. I got too many hair products. Like I'm looking in this hair closet right now and it's, it's decluttered actually. And it's, and it's still, still a lot of a stuff lot. in there. Yeah. Yeah, kind of ridiculous. It is. <laughs> so I'm like, Kelsey, just don't even worry about it. But I did get some re-ups on some skincare. So first things first, I got another one of my Polish Choice Niacinamide. You guys saw me talk about this in my skincare routine where I did my AM and PM skincare routines. If you have not seen that video, I highly recommend you check it out if you want some tips on skincare and acne prone skin. And if you have oily skin too, that video will also be very helpful for you. 
but this is my favorite niacinamide I've ever tried. This is 20% niacinamide. Um, I've used like 10% and 15%, but for me, I like the 20% because I do have oily skin. So this product is really good if you have oily skin and it helps controls the oils throughout the day. And it's really good if you have hyperpigmentation as well and you don't really like vitamin C because some vitamin C's just, they're just not created equal. Some of them work really well and some of them don't. And most people are actually sensitive to vitamin C. So if you are, I highly recommend trying a niacinamide serum. And this is the best one that I've tried by far. And then I got a rip of a neck cream that I've been obsessed with over the past year. This is from Strivectin and this is the Titan and Lift Tightening Neck Cream Plus. So I've gone through like maybe three or four of these. Um, I use it every single night and I've noticed a difference in these lines on my neck, my tech neck lines. They're not as prominent as they used to be. So this cream has softened the look of these lines. So I'm obsessed with this. I'm not gonna lie, it did take me like, maybe like two and a half, almost three months to see results, but you have to be consistent with this to see results. But I'm obsessed with it. It is worth the money, but you have to be consistent. Okay, so next is a body butter that we both got. I'm a huge fan of the Bum Bum Cream from Sol de Janeiro, so I knew I had to try this go. one, especially when I read the notes. I knew I was gonna love it. I can just read notes these days and I just know when I'm gonna love something. So She's talking I, about the smell right now. The smell. <laughs> but I also read more benefits on it. So I saw that it had retinol. Wait, what's the name of the product, Kendra? I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> this is the Sol de Janeiro Beja Flora Elastin Cream and it's enriched with retinol, retinol. mimicking KK oil and plant collagen. Yeah, plant collagen. So this is like an anti-aging body cream. So like a nighttime body cream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't use this in the daytime. Yeah, because it has a red ingredients. Dog. Yeah. But the smell is phenomenal. I know I would love the smell. To me, it smells just like Ariana Grande's Cloud yes. Perfume. Yes. Oh my gosh. If you guys have ever smelled that perfume, it smells exactly like it that. It smells amazing. It's basically a dupe for the Mason Francis uh, perfume that everybody's A lot of people with. say that, but it doesn't smell like that to me because that smells more like cologne. Yes, it does. The initial spray of that smells like Ariana Grande Cloud. Well, That's Ariana true. Grande Cloud smells like that. Same DNA. So same family. Same family. Mm -hmm. This smells like the Ariana Grande Cloud perfume though. Yeah. But for some reason, I love this formula a lot better than the original Bum Bum, Bum Cream because I feel like they made that one lighter. I think they started watering them down it so feels, they can make more. I think you're right. Honestly. It feels too much like lotion and when I buy a cream, I want a cream, not a lotion in a jar. You know? <laughs> exactly. And this feels just like an actual cream. It's very, you know, so whippy nice. and buttery. This is thicker. It's much thicker. I don't know it's because it's for nighttime that it's like more, you know, yeah, that's nice. luxurious feeling. It smells bomb, y'all. Yes, it's very nice sweet, shame. a hint of floral, but like mostly sweet. So if you guys have ever smelled Ariana Grande's Cloud, then this smells exactly like that. And I love the pretty dainty pink packaging too. So I'm curious to see if I would actually see a difference in my overall like body clarity skin. Okay. Because like most of the products like that I have in my body basket, don't have retinol in them. Mine either. So I'm curious to see how this works. Because it says it's mainly for hydrating, but it also says it supports elasticity and collagen. Um, and this says it also supports cell turnover, which is what the retinol does. And it says elasticity boosting body cream. And that's always great because we don't want to be sagging. Okay, guys. So I have two more body products that I got. These are from Pharmacy. I used to use their skincare products, but... You guys know I've been trying to stick with the exact same routine for the past year and a half. Well, actually, it's going on two years now. Really? So, yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. hmm. My skin has been loving it. Consistency, y'all. But I have been curious about their body products. And the first thing that I got is this. Well, no, I'll start with this because technically you're supposed to put this on first. Okay. Um, this is the Honeymoon Glow Body. And this is 12% AHA slash BHA resurfacing serum with honey and prickly pear. So, this is basically a... Hmm. Um, exfoliating serum for your body so I know you guys know a lot about like chemical exfoliations for your skin on the face but I'm curious to see how this will work on my body because I typically use a body scrub to exfoliate my body like in the shower but I've never used a out of the shower body product that has uh, chemical exfoliating properties so I'm, I'm curious to see how this works on my body but I am a little bit nervous to go in the Sun after using this so I really would have to like double up on the um, sunscreen uh, because, of course, I use sunscreen on my face, but I'm not going to lie, I don't use sunscreen on my body every day. Mm -hmm. uh, because, like, my entire body is not always in the sun. But I'm excited to see if this makes a difference because I do get those 
um, annoying like bumps on the back of my thighs um, if I don't use my exfoliator in the shower like every other day but I feel like with this I'm gonna have to like rotate days because I don't think it would be smart to use this and a scrub on the same day because then mm -hmm. I'm gonna like irritate my skin and then I'm guessing after this you're supposed to apply the body cream so this is the honey butter body um, so this is the ultra hydrating body cream and neither one of these have a smell they smell very faint mm -hmm. which I is it. it smells like like a light honey like a light honey smell but Barely I would there. classify these as having a scent. So these are, to me, fragrance free. So if you have sensitive skin, this is probably something you might want to try. Mm -hmm. Give it a try. So I'm curious to see how I like this. Let me see the texture. Oh, this is lighter. Yeah, it's lightweight. It's like more lotiony. Yeah, I would consider this a butter. Yeah. Butter is way thicker than this. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of misleading. It does feel nice though if you don't want to like spend all day rubbing a product in you would probably really like this yeah no smell mm -hmm. it smells like honey kind of like cocoa butter a little very bit. light i'm curious to see how i would like these together so if y'all see these in the favors then you'll know they delivered okay so next is our favorite section which is perfume yes second to candles so i've got a bad influence on kelsey when it comes to fragrances every time she comes in my room she discovers something new that she needs it's like sephora no, it's not. It's not that bad. Um, so we're going to start with perfume. And the first one that I got is one that's limited edition. And this is from Dolce & Gabbana. This is their light blue forever. And this is the only size that it comes in. So I'm assuming this is not going to stay forever. Because usually when they have a product that's going to last a while, it comes in more than one size. But this is the only one they have. So I'm assuming this is like a temporary, like limited edition perfume. If it sounds good to y'all, y'all might want to hop on it because I don't know how long it's going to be on Sephora. So look how cute this little bottle is. It looks perfect for travel though. Yeah, it does. It's really pretty. So this, I knew I was going to love it because I like the original light blue, but the intense version of the light blue. I don't really like the original original. The intense is much better. But this one seemed like it was going to be a tad bit sweeter, a little bit more girly. And I was right because this does have like that lemon, like that fresh clean signature light blue kind of smell with a little more lemon but a little bit more lemon a little bit like sugary it's nice so it's like more of like a sugary lemon if that makes sense very like crisp citrus if you're not into like a citrus clean smell you're not gonna like the light blue like dna because all of them have a very crisp clean lemony mm -hmm. very fresh smell so this has lemon essence orange blossom and cedar essence so it has a really nice like softness when it dries down like the cedar essence gives it not like a nice like i don't want to say earthy but like a fresh like leafy kind of finish if that makes sense i get why you would say that like a leafy like crispness is not like super lemony i feel like that kind of cuts the lemon in half because the original light blue is a very like crisp clean lemon that's literally what it is this has like a sugary lemon but the undertone like the dry down is like really really soft so i think you guys would love this if you want a another version of the light blue but you want something a little bit more different okay so next i got a nest perfume i hope this one is permanent to their collection because it looks a little different than the rest of their packaging because it has gold on it and the name of this one is called golden nectar so it might be a special edition see it has gold in the packaging none of their scents has gold detailing huh. um but kendra actually made me want to get this because she had the travel size and she was putting it on in the car and i was like you smell like candy like she smelled yummy. so yummy and I was like, what is that? She's like, oh, I'm trying out this golden nectar to see if I want yeah, to get the full size. Yeah, I wanted to get like, the mini spray. Yeah. And it's I didn't realize it was going to be that sweet because the notes like sold me. First of all, these spritz on this. They changed the packaging for sure because this is a lot more like fine of a mist. <laughs> yes, because the regular Nest perfumes are very ch -ch -ch. Look shorter shorter mm -hmm. yeah this one is way longer of a mist so you would love this if you like sweeter scents very it's sweet. sweet and juicy but with a little bit of floral so to me it's more like mm -hmm. warm floral very girly very feminine very feminine oh it says scent type warm florals mm -hmm. so the keynotes for this are golden orchid amber and musk so if you like like warm cozy vanilla vanilla scents mm -hmm. you would like well not vanilla because i wouldn't say describe this as vanilla it says it's creamy vanilla, but I don't I can smell the vanilla. But not as much as I smell it in other perfumes. I really smell the golden orchid and amber in this. Yes, you can for sure smell the amber. And it smells like a warm flower. flower. Like a warm flower, yeah. It's like a nice nighttime spring smell. Yeah, I would say this is perfect for 
a date night during the spring or like a girls night out during the spring. Okay, so next is a true blind buy. Well, actually, actually all the perfumes I'm mentioning are blind buys. I haven't smelled any of the perfumes I'm talking about today except for one and I'll let y'all know what that is. Cause this, I had never smelled it before getting it. I just read the notes and knew that I would like it. Um, and I do. And this next one, I found it like literally like the last minute before I checked out, maybe like the day before I was decided on all my stuff in my cart. And I read the notes for this and I knew I was going to love it. And I was right, but it was very unexpected because I so thought good. it would be sweeter. And you guys know Kelsey and I have been raving about this brand in general when it comes to their fragrances. The Her Line Burberry Her has been Gosh, amazing. Yes. But when I read the notes for this, I was like, I need that. This is my Burberry blush. So this is their newest My Burberry perfume. And I used to have the original like a long time ago, but I wasn't that much of a fan, which is why back then I had like the really small bottle and I never repurchased it. But when I saw this, I was like, I know I'm gonna love that. So of course the Her yeah. bottle is gorgeous. I love this bottle, like a really sleek rectangle shape with like a nice marble top. I really like this bottle. It's so pretty. But the reason why I got this size, y'all, I know y'all wondering why she got that big ass bottle of perfume <laughs> and she's never smelled it. Cause usually I would get like a smaller bottle if I'm unsure. But this perfume was out of stock in every size except for the three ounce. So you didn't have a choice. So I just had to get the three ounce and hope for the best. Got it. And if I hated it, I was just gonna return it. But luckily I won't have to return it. This is the most beautiful, like softest scent for the springtime. If you guys are looking for like a petal fresh, like clean with a hint of fruitiness in there. So nice. You're got I'm sorry. <laughs> you're gonna love this. Uh, it's like fresh out of the shower. Yeah, it's like out of the shower Goodness. fresh. And I do know it has pomegranate. It's like a crisp, clean, like soft rose petal. It's fruity florals. It's so, so pretty. So it has pomegranate, rose, and jasmine. Mm -hmm. I don't really smell that much of the jasmine because I have perfumes with jasmine in it that are much sweeter. And this isn't as sweet as you would think. It's more tangy, clean. Yeah, like a tangy, clean. You mm -hmm. for sure smell the rose. And the pomegranate. And the pomegranate. Mm -hmm. You don't really smell that much of the jasmine. Not really. It's so pretty, you guys. So it smells like a soapy, fruity rose petal. And the dry down of this is so pretty. It smells like a pretty dainty girl out of the shower. Mm -hmm. So this is perfect to like just spray on real quick after you get out of the it's shower. It's a perfect daytime scent. Yeah, it's a really good daytime scent. I think so too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you guys are looking for like a go-to daytime, like running errands, mm -hmm. you wear it to work. Lunch. Lunch. Like this is like an all-purpose perfume. I wouldn't say it's for nighttime unless yeah. you're just like a clean, crisp kind of perfume girl all the time. I just for sure think it's a perfect daytime smell. By the way, the scent that Kendra just got, I already ordered mine because oh, you did? I was upset. It's on the way. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Um, but next I got two more Nest scents and I discovered that I love these in Sephora slash Kendra's closet. Same place. So the first scent is Sunkissed Hibiscus. This is like the sexy summer scent. Yes, I agree. This is the sexy summer scent. Mm -hmm. So this is very juicy to me. Think so? Yes. I'm gonna run out of arm space in this video. It's already very know. warm to me. It's like warm and juicy. It just smells like so, it's just a vibe. Like you can wear this during the day. You can wear this at night. Mm -hmm. You can wear this on a date. You can wear this on girls night out. You can wear it to bed. Shopping. Oh my gosh. To brunch. You can wear it to church, to work. Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. It's like all purpose. This is like the all purpose scent. To me, this is like for any like occasion. And honestly, I feel like any girl would like this, but especially if you like warm florals. Mm -hmm. So if you like a nice warm, like cozy scent mixed with floral. I know that sounds weird, but that's what this is to me. Mm -hmm. So it's like a sweet floral scent. It's really flirty and girly. So if you like flirty, girly, sweet, mm -hmm. I still smell like some kind of coconut. I, I think that's the golden amber you're smelling because it says it has golden amber in this. The golden amber is giving me coconut vibes. Okay. That's what's like making it really summery. This says this is fresh. It's not fresh. You said out of the shower. But I did say out of the shower. That's what your nose get. My nose ain't picking up on that. <laughs> it also has it's orange sweet. blossom in it, which gives it a nice zest at the end. So I love the orange blossom mixed with the golden amber. It's very sweet. Yeah, but it's more sweet to me than citrusy. It's mm -hmm. like a hint of citrus. So citrus is for sure this. Definitely that. But if you yeah. prefer like a understated citrus with more of sweetness, then you would really like this. 
Um, and then the last nest scent that I got is Wild Poppy. This came in the bigger bottle, but for some reason these two didn't, didn't come in the bigger bottle. Yeah, all their bottles don't come in this size. I wonder why. I don't know. Because I wish Golden Nectar came in the big bottle because I would have got it. Golden Nectar is everything. Um, so Wild Poppy, the first time I smelled this on Kendra, I was obsessed. I was like, what you got on this? Yeah, I know so you would good. notice it because like you like this family of scents. Like I do. Fruity floral. I love a fruity floral. So that's more my Jewish. Even though low key, I, I would try to mix anything nowadays. I don't know what has gotten to me. Like I've tried to like, I've started mixing scents myself just to create my own like unique fragrance. So you can do that too. And to me, nest scents are perfect to mix because they're from, they're from the same brand and they that's mix true. nicely together. Uh, Cause I do that as well with my Burberry Her perfumes. Um, so I mix a couple oh, yeah, of those as well and they mix nicely together. Um, but Wild Poppy to me is like the ultimate juicy floral. Very juicy. Because it is a fruity floral scent. It's more crisp and juicy yeah, to it's me. Yes, crisp and juicy. Yes, definitely. It's a true floral. It is a true floral. I agree. Uh -huh. And for some reason, it was like so funny. Me and Kendra will watch something and I would be like, what do you think she wears? Like we play oh, this we game all, all the time. time. We it's play so this fun. game. Yeah, we play this game all the time. We'll be yeah. watching anything. I'd be like, what do you think her scent is? Yeah. Like, what do you think her perfume is? Yeah. And we were watching Laguna Beach randomly and Kendra said that this is what Cami smells like season three cami from laguna beach smells like wild poppy yeah it just in my mind was I thought so random like. yeah and sun kiss hibiscus smells like Kristen from season two yes agreed um so this is fruity floral so we're both right about that uh -huh. um this has rose de Grassi. i don't smell any rose in this me neither um it also has himalayan jasmine and pear so the pear the is what i'm getting as far as the crispness in this and I, I should know myself pretty well. Y'all know I'm obsessed with pear. And Anything pear and apple. Pear and apple, it can like, you know, can have like the tiniest drop of it in it and I'll pick up on it. That's how much I'm obsessed with pear. Okay, so I got two of my perfumes. The one I'm about to mention is actually the one I smelled in store. The other three, I, I literally just bought without smelling them. You got very lucky. I did, cause I love both of them. But <laughs> this one, I actually did smell it in the store cause I was curious because I saw it online first and I read the notes and I'm like, this sounds right up my alley. I know I'm gonna love it. So this is the Giorgio Armani Ocean de Joy. I'm sure I'm butchering that. Eau de Parfume and you guys, oh, yes. when I read the notes online for this, cause back in the day I used to wear the Aqua de Joy. Yes. And I we love both that wore that perfume out. Like yeah. we used to wear that a lot. We wore it a lot. <laughs> Aqua de Joy is like your classic go-to like if you're a girl who's into like the unisex kind of family mm -hmm. of perfumes like you like cologne like crisp clean kind of smells mm -hmm. you're gonna love it yeah but it still has like a really nice warmth to it it's like a warm clean it's so good but i haven't worn that in years and i wanted to try something new so i was looking at all like the these because they have like a lot in this from this line from Giorgio armani and the ocean one just spoke to me y'all this is so so pretty very sexy very everyday mm -hmm. it has like a really nice fruity floral as you guys can see that's the family of scents for this haul obviously this is the spring haul so <laughs> you're gonna get a lot of like spring summer scents in this haul oh that's so good this is I so good here it has a very timeless scent this probably smelled good five years ago and it's gonna smell good five years from now like I agree. it's very very like go-to like this would be your go-to scent although i do think ness has like some of the best scents when it comes to like not being like a headache if that makes sense like if you're someone who who's unsure about scents perfumes are too strong for you i think ness is a good brand to start with honestly because ness has so many different options that i think a lot of people will really like without smelling basic yeah without smelling basic yeah it's like it smells really pretty really good all of their scents but they're still practical at the same time except like, the yellow one i don't like that one except the yellow one okay Not but they're just that. like you just pick them up without thinking about it yeah you know those kind of perfumes mm -hmm. i feel like those three you just mentioned i will pick up without even thinking about it like about where you're going yeah because like, sometimes you gotta be like do i want to wear this here those you can just throw any one of them on and yeah. just mm -hmm. not think about it. I feel like that about this one as well from Giorgio Armani. So this ocean one has a very sweet fruity floral smell. Mm -hmm. To me, I don't get ocean when I first smell this. Not initially. You smell ocean on the dry down of the skin to me. Yes. So when I, because I, I tried this one out in the store. 
Yeah, I smelled it in the store too. Yeah, and I walked around. Yeah, and for some reason when I tried it again, I liked it better the second time, which is why really? I placed an order online. So that's on the way too. Um, you're welcome. When I smell this on your skin again, yeah, for some reason it it's hit something different. about when it's on the skin. Cause like when I sprayed it in the store and it's I did, like, oh that's nice. When I did that, I was like, that's hmm. nice. It's pretty. Fruity. Yeah, really nice. But you have sweet. to put it on the skin. When you let it sit with like the it warmth of your skin, like when it dries down with your body chemistry, or at unique. least ours, it smells more unique to me. More special. Sprayed in the area, honestly, like smells like a nice body splash. Right. Yeah, but on body the skin, spray. it smells like a perfume. Mm -hmm. So the notes for this are sparkling pear, water <laughs> jasmine, and sandalwood. So I like so that description of water jasmine because I do smell that. And I'm a huge fan of jasmine in a lot of my perfumes. And the sparkling pear is very spot on too, as well as the sandalwood. So, so I think the sandalwood in the dry down makes it sexier, yes. warmer. Cause sandalwood on skin is beautiful. Yes, like it really it smells is. so good. Like sandalwood on skin, like it brings it to life. Mm -hmm. So that was smart that they added that in there. Cause normally you would see sandalwood in a fruity floral scent. Not really. It's more like you see it more in like the warm, like sweet, mm -hmm. more gourmand. Exactly. Scent. Yes. I think all the fruity floral lovers out there will love this because this mm -hmm. I think is going to be one of my go to like daytime spring summer smells. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you can just throw this on without thinking about it. Ocean de Joya by Giorgio Armani. So, so bomb. Okay, guys. So my last fragrance is not a spring summer scent, but I wanted to go ahead and get it because I was so curious because this is new. This is by Paco Rabanne and this is their 1 million elixir perfume. First of all, the notes got me. Let me read the notes to y'all first and then I'll tell y'all. When she got it, I'm like, this smells like we're shopping for our perfumes for December. <laughs> so this is in the earthy and witty family and the scent type is warm woods and the key notes are rose, cedar, and vanilla. So I got this now because of the rose because i thought i could probably get away with wearing it now because of the rose mm -hmm. probably not maybe it's, at night maybe at night sit inside somewhere not outside no mosquitoes because this is in the sweet family yeah this is the bottle it's so dope what was it under perfumes it looked like a cologne it's under perfumes woody earthy lyrical scent it doesn't say if it's unisex or not honestly so i got the smaller bottle because i wanted to see how i liked it on my skin first before i like you know, committed to the bigger bottle for when the cooler months come back. It looks like a lighter. Ooh, maybe that's what they were going for. It looks like a lighter. It's kind of dope. Cool. This is definitely a nighttime scent. You can't wear this any day. No. Good luck if you do. You're going to get ate up by mosquitoes. This is for sure like my kind of scent. I'm not going to lie. Ooh. Like the whole video, like most of these scents have been very much up Kelsey's alley. Like the light blue forever. That's true. The, the fruity florals and such. I have... Fruity florals, but not as many as Kelsey does. This, this is very sexy. It's very nighttime. This is the epitome of a LBD. Like very seductive. Little black dress. It fits all your curves in the perfect places. So, so good. You're wearing a nice stiletto heel. It's very rich smelling. So rich. Very seductive, bougie, rich. It's really, really good. So if you guys Girl. are into like very warm, rich, it almost has like an oud kind of yes. like undertone. But oud scents normally are very seductive. Mm -hmm. To me, I wish I would have kind of smoky in the seductive scents video. I know, this right? It would have made right, it. Right, right up there with those. Yeah. If you guys have ever smelled oud bouquet by Lancome, which I do own, I think you would really like that. It has like that same kind of DNA. I get why you say that. I do too. Mm -hmm. But this is a tad bit smokier. Yeah, tad bit smokier, a little less sweet because Oud Bouquet is more sweet. Mm -hmm. That is a little less sweet. But yes. It has like a smoky, mm -hmm. sexy, warm, warm mm -hmm. vanilla. Mm -hmm. It's Definitely. like a masculine vanilla, if that makes sense. Exactly, yeah. Okay, so my last scent was the literally very last thing that I added to my car because they had just came out with it when I checked out. So... This is the very last thing that I picked up. This is the Jo Malone Sakura Cherry Blossom Cologne. And this is a limited edition fragrance. I wasn't so lucky last year when I bought something from this line. It was like the red bottle. I forgot the name of it. That was limited edition and I did not like it. So I returned it. This one, however, is so, so good. I knew I would like it because I do tend to like most scents with rose. Some kind of fruit like cherry and like something fruity floral but like warmth. You guys know I'm into warm scents. Oh. That's mostly my go-to. But this has a very 
wet cherry fragrance to me. It's like very fruity, like a juicy, like I say juicy. plush cherry with roses. It has like a very wet, clean undertone to it, if that makes sense. But the more it dries down, the sweeter it gets. So the initial spray of this is very clean, but the longer it's on the skin, it's kind of like, uh, yeah, the Ocean de Joy. Mm -hmm. When you first spray this, like Kelsey said, it's more light, fresh, airy, like a body spray. And when it dries down, it's like warmer, a little sexier. This I love. I actually ended up getting the bigger one after I realized I loved it so much. Yeah, so a little this cute. cute little petal pink bottle. <laughs> I love, love this fragrance. And I'm not a huge fan of Jo Malone scents, like their like regular miss. line. I honestly think they all smell very basic. Yeah. Like they every do. single one. And they one, smell kind of the same. They do. And I feel like they're a little too spot on. Like the names of each one of them smell exactly like that. Like English pear. English pear. <laughs> Cardamom and Clementines. Cardamom and Clementine. They're too like, literal for too you. It's too literal and very basic and plain to me. It's not complex enough. Yeah. And this is very complex. So I typically like their limited edition fragrances more obviously than the original line, which is why I never even bother to buy any of them. But this one is very dainty, very innocent. You can wear it to a baby shower. You can wear it to church. You can wear it to work. Like it's one of those kind of scents. So if you're into like the dainty girly smells. Like Bridal shower. Like yeah, if you're not into like something like seductive like we were talking about earlier. But the dry down of this is still mm -hmm. sexy but like not as obvious. It's like more understated sexy. Okay, so the notes for this are bergamot, cherry blossom, and rosewood. So I for sure smell the rosewood in this one, which is why I said like the dry down is a little sexier because it's a little more woodsy. But the actual scent type for this is warm floral, which I did mention. This is why I knew I would end up liking this one because I'm very much into warm florals. Mm -hmm. I like fruity florals, not as much as Kelsey. But warm florals are my go-to. I love a good warm floral. So you guys would love this if you're into like warm florals like me. And if you're into cherry scents. I do like some cherry scents. But I feel like some of them tend to smell a little artificial. Yeah. And it's hard to get them to smell actually really authentically good. good. Yeah. yeah without smelling like, like Japanese cherry blossom. Oh, I can't stand this. Like because it can tend to smell a little cheap. Yeah, it does. This doesn't smell cheap at all. Okay, now we're gonna finish off this video with some candles. You mm -hmm. guys know we like to get candles during this sale because first of all, these candles are very expensive. They're not like a Bath and Body Works price candle. Mm -hmm. They're a little pricey. So we use this opportunity to get some candles. So the first thing I got is this actual set of mini candles. And I got these to put like along my shower because when I take baths, I like a lot of candles lit. So I like different sizes of candles to create the vibes. And you know, my hair is curly now, so I'm gonna be taking baths again. Yeah, you can't take no bath with no straight hair. No, you your roots will sweat out. Somebody asked me that, I'm like, they were like, how do you take your baths with your hair straight? I'm like, girl, you, you don't. don't. Don't even worry about it. Just wait, Just stick to showers. Mm -hmm. So this is from the brand Mason Louise Marie, and it came with three candles, like I said. So it came with three different ones. So the first one is, so on Sephora, this just says, a set that includes votive candles in Antidris, Cassis, number four, Balling Court, and number nine. Oh, the Cassis one, I had that one. I had two of those in my bathroom. That's what, that's what made me want to get the set. Oh. Because I like how it smelled in your bathroom. It's very like bathroom appropriate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this one says, it's a fruity fragrance that begins with a black pepper note enhanced by bergamot and black currant. I definitely smell bergamot in this. Mm -hmm. And it has strong green notes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very earthy, like greenery. It smells like a garden. Like a garden developed over a white rose base. That's the garden scent that you're smelling. That's why you like this because you love rose. Uh -huh. And it also but has- the white rose gives it like a clean rose smell. Yeah, yeah, it's not red rose, it's white rose. This also says it has warm oak moss, tonka, and clean musk base. See, I said bathroom, it has like a this nice This is perfect clean. for the bathroom, uh -huh. which is why it's going in my bathroom. And then the other one, these are so cute. Those are cute. And then the other one, this one is, oh, number four, Boyce de Ballincourt. I have this like oil roller ball in my purse. And sometimes I'll put this on before I go to Pilates. I know it sounds weird, but it's a really nice, really nice scent. This smells like Lalabo. It's, yeah, it's basically a dupe for Lalabo, honestly. Yeah. Um, this is a sandalwood fragrance with a dominant cedarwood and sandalwood accord, supplemented by a spicy cinnamon nutmeg complex. 
in an earthy bed of your note. And then the last one is the number nine one. Yeah, number nine, the Lay de Farney. Can't really, oh wait, this is actually really nice. So this one is Woody Mineral Fragrance and it's a oh, citrus accord and grapefruit orange and black pepper. This is the most earthy. Oh, and it has cedar wood and patchouli. That's, That's probably what I'm smelling. That's yeah. why it smells very earthy. I like that. It smells like a nice meditation candle. I was gonna say it's kind of calming for like me. The patchouli. I and love you said it was cedar wood. Cedar wood. I smell none of the fruit you mentioned. <laughs> Maybe I'll smell it more it when I burn it. It only smell like patchouli and cedar wood. I wonder how, because I'm gonna burn these nice. at the same time, so I'm curious to see which one is more potent. The Cassis one is a great bathroom. Like it projects nice in the bathroom. Like it's so soft. I feel like the one in the middle gonna burn the most. The Lalabo dupe one. Mm -hmm. I feel like this one gonna be stronger than these two. Okay. Cause I like the full sizes of those cause they're not super strong, but they have like the, the perfect amount of smell, but I mostly love the packaging cause they just look so good in like every area of your house. Yeah, well, that's why I wanted white candles, but yeah. I didn't want white candles that were fragrance -less. I wanted them to smell that's like something. They're very aesthetic, very aesthetically, aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> so next we have all Nest candles. Please be forewarned, there's a lot of them. And I'm not gonna lie, Nest is one of the best high-end candle brands that mm -hmm. I have tried before because some of them are a complete waste of money. You don't smell them. They don't project. They don't project. But Nest, they have so many good scents. Mm -hmm. They have great projection. Yes. And they're worth the money. Mm -hmm. So the first ones I want to mention are ones that I've gotten way too many times. And this is from like the Wellness Collection. So this is the, the Wild Mint and Eucalyptus. So These relaxing. are the best bath time candles I've ever tried. They're so calming. The most calming, but not too like earthy smelling. They're very crisp. The eucalyptus like smells very authentic. It has like, I feel like I breathe easier with these burning in my bathroom. This is my favorite bathroom candle. Oh my gosh, you guys. I, if you like a hint of fruit, you would like this. It almost has like a melon with eucalyptus kind of scent. It smells like a mojito. It smells, right. It smells just like a mojito. I love a good mojito. That's what this smells like. It's so relaxing, very calming. This is the epitome of a breath of fresh air in a candle. If you like clean crisp mm -hmm. for your bathroom, which everyone should, because you shouldn't be putting else, none else in there, I don't think. Um, it's the perfect bathroom candle and that's why I ended up getting two of them because I'm obsessed. I also have like the really big one in my bathroom right now. So love this for bath time. And then the next one we both got as well. This is another one that I got for bath time. This is the Cedar Leaf and Lavender. Okay. So this one you mostly smell the lavender. Yeah, I don't smell Cedar Leaf anything. So I'm curious to see if I would actually smell the Cedar Leaf. Like once it's burning maybe. Okay. But to me right now, I just, I'm just getting just lavender. Just lavender. It's very specific to just lavender. This is probably the most underwhelming one that I've tried from them. Yeah, when I burn this and if I don't smell any cedar leaf, I'm not gonna get another one. So the next and last Nest candle that I got is one that I got from smelling it in Kelsey's bathroom. She had like a little mini of it that she was lighting the other day. And I was obsessed. And so I knew good. I would like it too based on the notes online. So this is Mediterranean Fig. So I ended up committing and buying the huge one. I feel like this would be like the perfect like bedroom scent. Because it's really warm. And you can really smell the fig. So if you guys love like a nice sweet scent. If you're into fig in general. It's kind of juicy. Fig has like a really nice warm juicy scent to it. Mm -hmm. And it's nice. This is the most beautiful, like warm. It's very unique. Mm -hmm. Like it just smells like nothing that we have. Yeah, I agree. And it, it's gonna project really well in my room. So this is their three wick candle. If you guys are wondering, so like this size. So the notes for this are fig leaves, blue cypress, and violet. I smell cypress. Yeah, it's earthy greens and herbs. Uh, it's, this should be in the calming. Is this in the wellness? Nope, it's not in the wellness yeah, collection, but this Should is very be. calming as well. Mm -hmm, I agree. Okay, guys, so the last, I got two more Nest candles. So the last two Nest candles that I got, the first one is called Velvet Pear. This is my new obsession. You know I love y'all because I was not about to mention this at first. <laughs> I was trying to savor it because I don't want it to be sold out. But if you guys smell this, then you will get the obsession. First of all, y'all know I'm obsessed with pear. Shocker. But this is so crisp and juicy. This is like the ultimate home scent. Like you can burn mm -hmm. this in so many rooms in your house. It just smells so homey. It smells like that girl's house who got her.
together. Her house always smell good. She can it's cook. Clean. All her bills paid on time. Oh my gosh. And she always looks good while doing it. Mm -hmm. This is what this smells like. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. It's a clean pair. It's a fresh clean pair. Yeah, because as soon as you said like she got her together, I was like she cleans her house with bleach. <laughs> oh, of course. Absolutely. It's actually clean. You know what I mean? <laughs> so this is considered fresh in the fresh family. Mm -hmm. And the scent type is fresh citrus and fruits. The key notes are Anjor pear white musk and amber so i think that's why it smells very homey because amber is warm usually most like home scents to me have some kind of warmth in uh -huh. them but i also like a nice fruity touch to all of my candles especially if i'm going to be burning them in my room but i'm obsessed with this candle so much i want it to burn it in the living room too so that's why i got the very large size so i got this for the living room so kendra can enjoy and indulge in my new favorite it's candle really good. so the next one that i got kendra is actually obsessed with this one this yes. one is called apricot tea well, it kind of makes me thirsty a little bit really yeah i, I get, get that i get why apricot and peaches are in the same family because it kind of smells like peach sweet tea yeah like if you had sweet tea with peaches in it it just smells very warm like muddled and peaches. fruity it's a warm like mm -hmm. fruity scent no floral no floral mm -hmm. it's just warm and fruit mm -hmm. so this says it's warm and spicy i smell a bit of the spice i get why they say that um and then it's a fresh and citrus and fruits scent type and then mm -hmm. the notes for this are english apricot black tea leaves and warm golden amber Definitely warm and fruity. Ugh, it's so good. Okay, so the next brand that we've been buying for quite a while now is Overose. And mm -hmm. I got two new ones that I've been wanting to try. So for the longest time now, I've been buying the Nudes candle. I think it's Nudist. I think it's Nudist. Yeah, yeah not Nudes. The mm -hmm. Nudist candle and the Anthurium. Those are the two that I've been buying forever. In the holographic packaging, I've been buying mm -hmm. that one, those two forever. And I yeah. wanted to try some new scents. So this first one is called Anamorphine. And yeah, I had to take it off the little packaging. This one is very fruity. Oh, it kind of smells like my favorite one for It kind of smells like pink lemonade to me. Anamorphine has pink peonies, raspberry lemonade. See, I said it smell like pink lemonade. Lemon leaf infusion. So I smell the lemon. I said it's lemony. It is very lemony. So I love like the lemons. It smells very summery. That's why I got it because the notes sounded summery. And I hope I smell more of the peonies when I burn it because I really do like the smell of peonies. That's why I'm a huge fan of like the Chloe perfume because I love like peony smells. So we shall see, but it smells mostly like pink lemonade right now. And the next one that I got is called Nymphalia. So Nymphalia, I actually prefer it over the Anamorphine one. In my opinion, I feel like, I like Anamorphine. Kelsey likes it because it smells similar to one of her favorites. This one do too though. This one kind of smells like my go-to. So Nymphalia is a really it's nice fun. floral with a hint of sweet. So Nymphalia has fresh cotton, May roses, Lily of the Valley, and a splash of orange blossom. So it has like a cleanness, like a clean like crispness to it, which is like that cotton, but I like the May roses in it. Y'all know I love rose. This smells like spring, like a spring candle to me. Like this is spring in a candle. This is really nice. Uh, the last two candles that I got is the exact same one, but I wanted to re-up on these because every spring and summer I like to have these on hand and ready to burn in my bedroom. So this is the Aurora Flown. I've talked about this candle so many times. So unique, it's so fruity, it's so juicy and sweet. So the notes for this are cherries, ripe nectarines, and lemon blossoms. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It smells even better burning because you it get the smokiness. Like a very croissant. Oh, that's funny, croissants are actually in this. Oh. Like the picture they have online, it has like croissants in it with cherries. It's very jammy. It smells like a pastry. It's very jammy, it's sweet and fruity. So it's like a mixture of both mm -hmm. um, with a hint of freshness from the lemon blossom. I'm gonna try to make them last all summer. We shall yeah. see. Cause these, I'm not gonna lie, these have amazing projection, projection and they burn for a very long time. That's my favorite part about Overrose. The projection is top notch. Mm -hmm. So like we were, I was saying earlier, Nest isn't too overpowering, isn't too strong. It's a little softer. Like I said, if you get headaches with candles, Nest is your go-to. But if you like strong projection candles, Old Rose. Rose is for sure your go-to. Okay guys, so that completes this haul. We hope it wasn't too long for you guys. Let us know if you guys have any of the things already that we mentioned in this haul. We're super excited to actually use all of these things because they've been sitting in these boxes. So yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If we have time, we will try to link all this stuff in the description box. Cause, yeah, because we're trying to get this video up for y'all. Yeah, tomorrow. So, yeah, this was a lot of stuff. So yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time.